In a shocking incident reported by the London Metropolitan Police, a gang comprising Islamists and others was apprehended after storming parts of East London. A year-long investigation has brought down a violent robber Ghana. Using meticulous evidence-gathering techniques, officers matched some on the broader issue of extremism in the UK and raises critical questions about the underlying causes and the government's response to such violent acts. The rise of Islamist gangs and extremist factions in London and beyond is alarming. Many observers believe that this surge is, in part, a consequence of the UK's liberal immigration policies. Critics argue that the government has failed to adequately address the challenges posed by individuals who exploit these policies, particularly those with extremist ideologies. Instead of focusing on deportation and prevention, there seems to be an emphasis on toll on communities is significant as individuals grapple with the ever-present threat of attacks. Reports of violence often dominate local news. The situation is further complicated by the political landscape. Calls for stronger measures against extremism are often met with resistance, as the government balances civil liberties with the need for public safety. The debate around how best to handle these issues is fraught with tension, as policymakers seek to navigate the complexities of multiculturalism, integration and security. The safety of innocent citizens must be a priority, and proactive measures are necessary to ensure that everyone can live without fear of violence, the recent incident in East London is a stark reminder of the challenges that lie ahead, and it is crucial that the UK takes decisive action to protect its communities from the scourge of extremism. In this critical time, we must hope for a future where peace and security prevail.